Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Um, I'm still sick, which is great. I'm, I'm very sick of being sick. <laughs> reading same time next year by tessa bailey it's like a little like christmas new year's novella about this girl who's a bartender and she fake marries well real marries but you know what i mean she fake marries this canadian hockey player so he can like stay in the country and get his green card so he can play hockey in america um and get to the nhl hopefully and i'm like like 20% of the way through it. It's good so far. I'm liking it. It's a fun little like read going on right now. I'm still reading Throne of the Fallen but I haven't read any more of that because um, I started this one last night because I wanted something to read on my phone while I was laying down. My hair is just whack today. Okay so I took a nap because y'all know I haven't been feeling well. No secret, I've talked about it many, many times. This is reusable. Every word I was gonna say just like escaped me. Every time I don't feel well, I get very contemplative and I start thinking about life and everything and every like aspect of my life. And usually it's not good. Um, it's not a good way for me to be when I'm sick, but I'm actually, I think it might be a little productive this time, um, especially given that like, it's gonna be 2024 soon. Like I'm actually gonna use this energy to find stuff I might want to focus on for 2024 like okay is there an area of my life that I like really want to focus on improving and all that so I think that's what I'm gonna do and like usually I don't like to dwell or give attention to the part of me that is like unhappy and it's not that I'm unhappy per se, I just think that I could be happier. I think I've gotten a little complacent in my life and I wanna keep like making strides and moves forward, you know, into building a future. And I think, while I did try a lot of new things this year, I still kind of feel like I'm back in the same place, um, which I think is normal for your 20s and a lot of people don't talk about it, but like you, it's normal to try a bunch of different things and to change your mind and to not really know what you're doing. The age they have us pick our major and everything for college is just too young. Like maybe some people know what they wanna do at a young age and that's fabulous, but not everybody does and that's okay. And I think I really had this idea that like I was gonna get out of college and everything would just work out. And like, that's just not, not how it works. Um, kind of a lie that the people spun to us our whole lives and by us I mean my generation. That's neither here nor there so I think I'm gonna actually like journal for a bit and just try to get my thoughts out and just try to have like a kind of a constructive plan for moving forward. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I think I'm gonna use my bullet journal because I haven't been using it as much and I always feel better when I'm doing that and when I'm using that so I don't know I kind of want to do maybe I'll start with like a brain dump or something. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Not that I really need a, a guide, but I just like to look on Pinterest. Kind of like this one. It's a little like thoughts and ideas live here. Maybe I'll do something like that. All right, I'll be back. Y'all, my lips are so ridiculously dry. It's not even funny. So I've been using chapstick like crazy. I decided that my brain, well, I did my brain dump and I feel a little bit better. Um, I also decided that my brain needs to be learning and needs more exercise right now. So I'm starting two edX courses. This is not sponsored by the way. Um, I love edX. I have been using them for a while. Um, they have like a paid version, which like actually gives you like a certificate or you can like earn a degree. I'm unsure how it actually works, but I just use the free version because I just like to do the courses to like exercise my brain and learn something new. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking the modern masterpieces of world literature and then I enrolled in one about ancient Egypt because I just love Egypt. I have like a weird Egyptian obsession. I'm gonna try to get back to like the things that I can do for myself that were making me happy. I feel like exercising my brain and learning is one of them. Reading, which I've been doing. I definitely wanna 
start playing music again, start writing again, like, and I just feel like I haven't had time to do like anything. And I think when that happens too, like I find I am more likely to get sick. Like for me, my mental and physical state are so closely tied together that it's like if I'm unhappy mentally and emotionally, I'll get sick physically, which I kind of think is what's going on and why I keep like getting better and then getting sick and then getting better and then getting sick is I think it's like an emotional thing for me. Also when I'm anxious, obviously that depresses my immune system. So I'm more likely to get sick. So I am focused on what I can do for myself to kind of make myself feel better. And I definitely want to plan out 2024 a little bit, but I'm just like unsure how I want to do that. I don't like to plan too much because then I feel boxed in, but I definitely think that I need some sort of game plan and some sort of like outline because this year I didn't really have one after I got back from the DCP and I felt very lost and listless. So I just, I think I need something. Um, so I'm probably gonna work on that today too, but right now I'm doing um, the first lesson in this course, which is kind of just like an introduction and I'm enjoying it so far. My brain like is taking a sigh of relief. I just think I'm one of those people. I just need to use my brain. So I'm gonna get back to that and I'm sure I'll be back on, but I'm so sick of sniffling as well, but it's fine. We're gonna ignore it. I'm back. It's been a few hours. Um, I somehow managed to read the entire first part of Faust. I feel like I'm gonna say that wrong. We all have heard of Wolfgang though. And because I started that edX class on world literature and they mentioned him because I guess he's like kind of the father of like world literature, so to say. So then they were like, oh, well, like here's like this, his works if you want to browse them. And I was like browsing this one. I'm like, this one actually sounds like kind of good. And I read the whole first part, which is pretty long, so I'm kind of impressed. So I have to finish part two, but it's like a play, first of all, and it's a tragedy. Tragedy. I cannot speak, but it's about this guy who like makes a deal with the devil. I just, I love plays like that. It's just so good. So I really enjoyed it. Ugh. And yeah, it's just, it's beautifully written. Like the language is beautiful and it wasn't that hard to understand, honestly, for, at least for me. Um, which I was surprised because it's like such an older story. It was published in 1808, so I just figured it was going to be like really dense, but I actually didn't find it that difficult to read. So that was fun, and my brain feels like happy and like satiated now that I've actually exercised it a little bit. So I'm happy. I did lesson one of that like world literature class too. Um, my throat is so itchy. But, yeah, so that's what I did. I pretty much just, like, tried to s relax and sleep. But then I also read something that exercised my brain. And it weirdly recharged my brain. So I'm happy about that. But, yeah, now I think I'm going to play some Fortnite with my sister and Justin. We've been playing the like Lego build Fortnite, which has been fun. And yeah, I finally watered my plants and they really desperately needed to be watered. I had intended to like chat for a little bit more, but my throat is so itchy and like hurts so badly. I don't know. Um, I don't know what's going on. I have this like, I've mentioned my cold or whatever it is 50,000 times, but it, like starts to feel better and then it like comes back and it's just, it's not ideal, but maybe I'll be back. Maybe I won't. Just in case I'm not back. Thanks for watching. Seven o'clock, so now I'm like losing steam because it's dark out and stuff, but I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed part one. Um, I'm interested. I think in part two, he like gets his memory wiped. So he doesn't remember everything that happened in part one, which is very intriguing. And I'm like, some of these like plot points are so they feel super advanced for the time, but then it's like, no, they're not, you know? Cause it's like a lot of older stories have like these like motifs and themes through them that like you think you're like, oh, that's such a twist when you see it like nowadays, but it's like kind of been around for a long time. Loved it, literally gave it five stars. And I'm gonna read the second part at some point, probably not tonight because I'm sleepy. 
but I'm proud of myself for exercising my brain today and doing something because that actually helped. So, all right. See you, maybe. Maybe I won't.